so I've had a call out uh, from uh, up the mountain near us. It's uh, a good uh, hour or so away of a little monkey that's uh, basically been found all alone um, in the woods um, in this area. It seemed to be very cold. Um, the lady couldn't get a hold of us the day before, so she managed to get hold of us uh, today. And uh, we've just gone up now to collect uh, this little orphan and see what the problem is. Good on yourself. Sorry, you s what did you say happened to him? No, we found him in the plantation, so there's no mother inside, nothing. So, no, he's all right now. I think he was just cold. Shame. Yeah. He's so cute. And I bottle fed him last night because the signal up here is so bad oh, and I was struggling to get him. Little mother. everywhere, yeah. And he's just adorable. Mm. Oh, shame. Just decided so to was just somewhere here in the bush that you heard him. Yeah, on. we've got a lot of monkeys up here. So yeah. I took the children and we just walked and I saw this little thing and I called and I stood there for hours and there was no monkey inside, just a baby. Shame, man. We're just taking Boogie Big Ears, or Boogie for short, um, to the vets as we're just a bit concerned about his extreme bloating and his general condition after he eats. So Baby in Ten Gale is going to take him um, and we're just going to be off shortly. So we're just concerned a little bit about uh, Boogie. He's got a very, very swollen stomach. And there was two like lumps on his back uh, when he came in, which we're not too sure what they're from. Um, it could have been thorns or something when he fell uh, from his mom or from the tree. Um, it doesn't look like bite marks or anything like this. It does look like definite some kind of puncture wounds, but we're really not too sure what it is. So we're just getting the vet to check. Okay, so you're happy, girl? Yes, I'm uh, relieved. <laughs> so the abscesses on him, they were abscesses on his spine. And he does have a slight peritonitis, the vet said. So she's just drained the abscesses and then we'll continue cleaning those. And he's on all the right treatments that we've already been giving him, so that's wonderful. We just wanted to check if there was anything else. So we've got to go easy with his feeding um, due to the slight peritonitis that he has as well. And uh, continue what we're doing to get his gut motility back. Here we go, Boogie. On your way home with Mummy. <laughs> There we go. Little man. I'll get you home to the sanctuary. Boogie's now going to have uh, a calorie dense drink just to help him out a little bit, which we're going to give on the way back so that he's got some extra nourishment for now. or not? Not sure. What does he think? So what no. is that flavour? <laughs> Normally sure when he that. likes something he goes for it. He's hiding. So Boogie's back home. Hey little man. Hopefully you'll be safe and sound. Got a long way to go but we'll get there. So little Boogie has to follow a very strict diet due to the peritonitis 
And uh, so far it looks like he's enjoying the extra little fruits and special things that he's allowed to eat. This is Bogo. And he's just discovered a food plate. He seems to really enjoy the apples. He had already two big pieces. Oh, doing a pee pee. Yay! Good boy. Yeah, the apples. Oh, where are the apples? Those are the best. Little Booga or Boogie really enjoys his food and he really loves eating so there's a lot of different things. It's always hard to say uh, in the start of life what happened and what they had or how long they were in people's hands. It's, it's sort of an unknown for us but uh, sometimes these little conditions develop because of the, the food that they started life off with. <laughs> Big pieces. Right? Oh, yeah. It's a bit worry of noises. So you even can see here um, how his stomach is a little bit bloated um, after eating. So this is was our, our main concern. And uh, that's also why he enjoys um, the stomach rub. So it's not an easy thing. Uh, as I say, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to work on him and hopefully we can get him right soon enough to go out with a, with a foster mom. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes people don't know what the best foods are for them when they first get them. And uh, they start eating uh, the wrong stuff from a very, very early age. Um, and this can lead to all kinds of health problems along the way. Uh, which makes it very, very difficult uh, for the rehab process because we're not always too sure um, what's ha what he's had or what his con internal condition is basically from his initial upbringing. So uh, it can be very testing, but let's hope uh, things go well uh, with little Boogie. He's on a very, very special diet. There's a lot of people caring for him at the moment and making sure um, he only eats the things to, to help um, settle his stomach and hopefully to cure the peritonitis. So Gail, do you want to explain what we're doing? Alright, so today Burger Big Ears is going to have a bath. So we arrived two days ago? Yeah, That's about right. two days, yeah. shy of two days maybe. And um, yeah, he has some uh, little scabs all over his body and some dry skin on his legs and on his head. So we are going to give a natural flea skin remedies shampoo. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I got you. 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 You also have a very irritated uh, bum area, so we're gonna make sure to clean that as well. Mm -hmm. It feels oh, nice, very good. good. Bye-bye. Ready? 
Yeah. Mm. Little wrapping baby. And when I keep, when I keep him warm in the towel until he dries. There's nothing like cuddling up after a nice warm bath at the end of the evening and uh, just going to bed and uh, I think that's what little Boogie is experiencing here. He's feeling safe, he's happy, he's had a nice warm bath, his stomach is not feeling so bloated at the moment um, and he's getting a little bit of a chance to catch up on that sleep. Seven PM and Boogie is having his seven PM feed, having milk. He had his uh, antibiotic just before that. So now I'm gonna wait for him to be really deep asleep to put him back in his crate. A burp, a little burp. That's okay, Papa. So, because if I put him too early in his crate, he's gonna wake up and he's gonna cry, and I have to start all over again. Booger is also improving day by day. He is here eating now some apple. He loves apple and he loves banana. You can still see on his back that he still have the wounds of the abscess, but the abscess were drained by the veterinarian. And he's doing brilliant. He can climb, he can move, and he's a really good boy. <coughs> Hi, Booker. Hey, Baba. This Boogie. Yes, sir. She's got a... Okay. He's now on full strength milk. Still gets a little bit bloated from time to time as well, but uh, he's still on his medications. But he has improved definitely since his first arrival. Now we've got to start putting some weight on the little man. Boogie in Disneyland. So here we have Boogie in Disneyland. Boogie is learning to climb, to go around the branches. He's doing very well. Right now he's trying to get me. <laughs> Hi, Baba. Uh, yeah, are you a good boy? I'm too far away, he cannot jump. So he's never really climbed before, so he's a bit unsteady, but he's learning very fast. So Boogie is now free and wants a drink. I don't think yeah, that's, have see, I told that's you. not his. No. So with Boogie, don't we are controlling his intake of fluids just because um, he does have that peritonitis and we want to make sure he's not uh, bloated. Give us a um, so we are going to have to work very hard and by we I mean the baby interns to make sure he doesn't steal anybody's bottles. Um, obviously you can see he's got a couple of bald patches there, those are from the abscesses he came in with. They have been drained, they are being cleaned. Okay, you have 10 meals of products Daily. and 5 meals of drink has to be made as well. Boogie the big boy! So 
we see is Danny and Boogie playing together. It's lunch break and Danny is back from Global Intracage. Boogie and Herbie playing. Boogie's the one with the shaved back. It's where he had his abscesses and you can see the size difference. Herbie's only three to four weeks old and Boogie is supposed to be two months old. But you can see how small he is compared to Herbie because of his peritonitis and whatever trauma he had before and his lack of nourishment means he's very small and very thin so he should be Helen size um, but he's not he's getting much better though, he's drinking a lot by himself <laughs> Okay, we're at Disneyland. We've got Sophie with little Herbert and Th no, yeah. yeah, Herbert and Thigpen. Yeah. Uh, and down here, Felix. got Felix. Wow, he's getting big. You getting big, my boy. And then over here, we must have uh, Helen. Yes. So Helen's getting left behind because over here we have Mr. Booger. Uh, so we've got him all packaged up um, because he's going to meet foster mums. So we're going to head up and uh, hopefully uh, get him with a foster mum up at Gizmo. They've been up there this morning. We just took them back down to help with breaks and stuff. Okay, we're at Gizmo. Diana's going to take Booger inside. and let him out, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, actually just outside if you can see, just to the left behind the pole is Uh oh, and she's our main foster mum here, who loves the intro cage, so she's all ready and waiting, so hopefully <laughs> he's a little bit nervous this morning, uh, he knows something's going on, so hopefully uh, we'll start in about five minutes. We'll just let Boogie relax a little. And then we're gonna let, uh oh, and hopefully. So, Booger Big Ears, aka Boogie, is now on his own. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, he has now finished his time in human care. And it's up to the monkeys now. So he's been through a bit of a hard time since he arrived. He was in special care. But he's been progressing really, really well. Drinking really well. And we got to get these babies moving. So we've just got uh, a few monkeys here in front of the door. I'm just going to wait for them to move as, um, uh oh, the one I would like is just in the trees here in the center shot. Can't quite see her. Here she is now, coming over. So she's quite low ranked, so it means she always gives way to the other monkeys. So we'll wait for them to get bored and move away. And then we'll let off. Okay, just get ready. I'm gonna try and let her in. Okay, we have uh oh, now inside. Let's 
So although Uh-O is a fairly low ranked female, she is a very good foster mom. Uh, she did bring up Little Biscuit, Chief Longhair, Penelope and Matty Jr. Uh, so she has her fair share um, of looking after little ones. She certainly knows how to do it properly. So it's uh, basically going to be interesting to see um, how she breaks down Maybe Little Booga and uh, actually tries to win his little heart over to her. At the moment she's following the typical procedure, just getting close enough to look but no interaction. The strange part is coming from Boogie, he's actually climbed up there um, to where she is and he's getting closer. So there's, there's a possibility that he is longing uh, for uh, the female or mother figure um, that he's always wanted. So he is a very huggable uh, little monkey, just have a look at that. He's actually getting close to her. Um, and there's I, I just giving him a smell once over just to make sure it's not somebody from their troop or somebody from the bandits uh, which is also typical behavior um, and just seeing but she's also not taking him you have, have a look she hasn't grabbed him and pulled him towards her or anything like this so she is still leaving the f initial um, meeting to him uh, which he has initiated already so let's see how it goes from from here but uh, She's, she's doing the normal uh, female instinct and not being too overbearing and keeping her distance and making the longing side of it come from him, which in some cases makes this uh, procedure a lot better. He hasn't seemed to perform or scream or anything, so I think he's, he's basically ready for a foster mom. Well, we can see little Booga is still uh, a little bit nervous of uh-oh, um, but things are coming well. I mean, well, always a good point that they're slowly eating together. He hasn't let out any kind of scream or thing like this that he's actually worried about her, uh, so that's a very good start. And uh, look, she's showing a kind of indifference, but uh, these mothers have got like a very good staying power. You, you actually know that they just want to grab this little one and hug them and keep them to themselves but sometimes they just know what the consequences are and uh, like with any child if you try to give it something too soon it rebels and doesn't want it and uh, you know these mothers just do what they do and uh, there we so go so this is what we've actually booger. been waiting for there's a uh -oh, little uh, booger he's uh, a got his mom he's holding overnight. on uh, unfortunately we missed the piece where and she picks him up but uh, uh -oh. sometimes these processes take a little this bit morning, of a, a bit of time and uh, it's very hard uh, with the low amount of it's volunteers and, and people that we've cold, got so sure to actually have a cameraman and somebody basically so making sure everything's matters. going right but uh, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for and uh, just look how settled little uh, Booger is there with, with Uh-Oh. And we're at Gizmo. This is uh, Booger with his new mom, Uh-Oh. Well, as I said before, every one of these integrations is totally different. It's just beautiful to see how these things go and these little ones getting their moms. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. Thank you everybody for sharing, uh, becoming members. I see the member counts coming up and we've reached close to 60,000 uh, viewers now, which is really amazing. So thanks everybody out there for being part of our family and uh, watching the video and sharing it where you can. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week.